Talk about that relationship between you and a director. And every director has their own approach, and it's, you've got to find that way relationally to work with them in such a way that you are arriving at a common goal. How do you foster that or cultivate that relationship I on the set and even before you get on the set? It doesn't always have to be a common, uh, it doesn't always have to be uh, uh, an, a, an agreeable thing. You can have your way, the director has their way, and uh, sometimes the directors will convince you to do it their way, and then you, can, you get to do it your way. Yeah. But I've learned over the years that that's just hokey. Yeah, because they'll always choose their way in the editing room. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, you might as well just do it. Right? You, might as, you might as well find a way to do it their way, <laughs> because they're gonna they're gonna either cut you out of the project, or they're gonna they're gonna do it their way no matter what. Right. Right. Unless you can change their minds, and that's my job. My job is to change your mind. If we're not on if we're not on the same plane, then my job. And if I think I'm really I think I'm really there, that's, this is where this role needs to be, then it, I have to try to convince you by doing, not by talking, not by sitting down and talking a lot of times. Mm -hmm. It's by, let me show you. Yeah. You deliver it. I like, yeah. I like to show what is possible. And if you don't get it, then that's the pro that's big, that's another big problem. Well, but sometimes you do. If you yeah. do, you show them, you, and they, they're like, you know what, you're right. Dude, you're right. Or, I know, you're right, but I, I need this right now. <laughs> <laughs>